We bought the building and were married in the same year. So about five years ago we decided to renovate the bar because it was, it's a really, really old building. It's 107 years old and um, it needed a lot of work done. So we decided then to renovate and that was five years ago. From then to now it's been very successful. Um, we're in our fifth year now and so far so good, fingers crossed. Um, it's hard work. So it is, um, I suppose, it's not what I would want for my own children. I have two, it's 17 and 18, and I'd like them to get a good education and travel the world, maybe, um, which I didn't, unfortunately, do. Um, but it's having a barn and being successful in business means it will be easy for them. And um, I come from a very working class background, so I was used to working and I still work. Well, I mean, the bar would be extremely busy at the weekends, and then the playoffs and I mean after is it the place is absolutely bummed to capacity. You know, we've got about five staff working and we have doormen on and uh, but it's 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 a great time, you know, we decorate the bar in orange and white and all sorts of things like that, you know. And we also got local clubs here, we've got the Harps Club and the Pier Shows Club. And one's the the bottom end of the town and the other's the top end and there's a lot of rivalry between the two clubs. But most of our staff here now would all be aligned to um, you know, clubs. The oh, yeah. The prison warders would have had their offices and they'd have done all their admin. Some, sometimes going on up to the two sides of the building, there would have been places where the, they would have talked to say, somebody that was in for theft or something from men from. Um, from the road courthouse and they would have done the cooking and the cleaning of all this areas and they would have stayed up in the cells above this building, this front of the building here. And everything here would have been cancelled from the horses. And the visiting box, as we call it, because it was only like a wee mobile with tables and chairs in, would have been over to the left here. So if he's just going to go ahead and open, just open it even for so the visitors would have stayed. Yeah, so you probably like weren't ever... I would, I would have been only through this way if I... Her over a period of 24 hours and they put her body in a bin bag and left it on the M1. It was one of the most gruesome murders ever in, in the history of Troubles. What's M1? The M1, the motorway. Oh my god. And that's what they found her. They had they actually sat down and had breaks. They were high on drugs at the time but they were they were very very so they were treated as special prisoners. They got SOS, Secretary of State's pleasure. I mean, there's loads of stories you could tell, but I mean, that's all to prisoners. And, and Margaret Thatcher tried to brand us as, as criminals. And we were not criminals. We were political prisoners. There was a struggle going on here. You know what I mean? And that's the way it was. We were members of an organisation and a way under the Trent Army. Um, it brings back, well, it does bring back a lot of memories and emotions flow through. But I have been back before. And I mean, it's part, it's part of my life, it's, it's, it's something that I, that, I, that I have come through and I believe I'm a better person for it, um, but I do believe that a lot of people don't know the real story behind, behind this jail. And it,